Having a training camp in January is a true signal of intent by SA Rugby. This as the plan is to have more players involved in women's rugby. We want to have, the, the goal is to have two competitive Springbok women's programs, sevens and fifteens. Um, and while this time of the year in January we have just a bit of breathing space where we can give girls opportunities and younger girls coming through from the juniors last year to build a bit of a pipeline um, so that we have more depth in, in both of our, our squads. Giving players more tests to play is also important as experience will only benefit these Springbok women in the future. Over the next couple of years, the, the women's 15s game is going to have two competition windows, um, one in around that March, April, May time and, and the second one in that September, October time, which is kind of World Cup global, global time. Um, and that's what we're trying to work towards. For last year, we, we, we toured in, in this time of year, this March time of year, which we're intending to do again. Um, and then later on in the year, in, in that September and October, we have what was the WX15s, which was the, the new competition that start year, started last year. Qualifying for the Women's Rugby World Cup next year is also key. Starting from here now, it is the preparations for that because we want to qualify, we want to go here and we want to go there and compete as a team. With tours planned and tournaments confirmed, Women's Rugby in South Africa will be the winner. Justin Ford, Cape Town.